as Professor Friedman has already mentioned, we will be talking about a local experience on the international study on diabetes and depression. He is ex-president of Pakistan Psychiatric Society, currently the head of department and professor of psychiatry at PIMS Hospital Islamabad. He is Professor Dr. Isman Taj. Please come, sir. Farid has set the tone and I am just going to follow up on that. And uh, just before I start my presentation, I would like to say that Farid said something that age and stage of Professor Khalil Mufti. But I can assure you that he is much younger than most of us in heart and mind. So we don't need to worry about his age anymore. Um, <clears throat> again, as Farid said, we are responsible for the tertiary care part of this study. This is the uh, PIMS hospital, which is one of the largest public sector hospitals in Pakistan. And we just been upgraded to university standard and this is from the last few days and we'll, there's some exciting possibilities coming up there. Um, <coughs> uh, diabetes is a major public health issue in Pakistan and I'm sure most of us know and I'm sure most of us have families uh, who are suffering from diabetes. And I want you to just look at the second part where the WHO estimates that by 2025 the figure will increase to one and a half million of people in Pakistan will be suffering from diabetes and most of them will be type 2 diabetes which is related to our unhealthy lifestyle and the way we eat, the way we do not exercise and the way we lead a sedentary lifestyle. <coughs> um, and again, as we just said, so diabetes is a risk factor for developing psychiatric problems, most commonly anxiety and depression. And what does the physician need? The physician needs from the diabetic patient compliance and commitment in the long term. And unfortunately, um, we are a nation of shortcuts and we have, our national society is to just believe in shortcuts and look for short term solutions. And this doesn't fit in when we get diabetes. And then we have another long standing problem like a psychiatric disorder. It really messes up people's life and uh, they do not like it and they do not want to follow the compliance regime or whatever the physician says. And he gave you a good example about the cardiologist. And uh, because we are at tertiary hospital, there's a long list of diabetic patients in the clinic. And it's more like, instead of patient seeing, it's more like a patient processing clinic. Where they come, they have the sugars checked, the, diet, the medication adjusted, and they just move on. And that is where our fault lies in the medical system. And he mentioned about the cardiologist. And on a, such a serious matter, the cardiologist not, did not was not able to communicate the information in an appropriate manner. And the same is true for diabetes, which is even more <coughs> taken as a light, in a lighter mood. Um, then we have our cultural beliefs as well. We, we love to go to peace and seek advice from uh, non-professional people. And again, that interferes with why uh, medical issues are neglected or psychiatric issues are neglected and treatment is sought at a very later stage. So Farid mentioned about depression and then diabetes. I'm going to just look at a few problems that diabetes patients pay. The population of people suffering from diabetes. What kind of issues that a person who has been diagnosed, say, at the age of 45, 50, to have type 2 diabetes. So he'll have adjustment problem, he'll have quality of life issues. Cost issues were mentioned in detail and it's a double cost for the patient. And it's not just a cost for a week or a few days, it's for months, years. And then, of course, the compliance issue is very, very vital to the management of diabetes. And uh, again, uh, that will be impaired if you have the two problems together. Then you have the medication inter interactions, then you have poor self-esteem. You have less chances of follow or seeking treatment or following up for whatever advice the doctor gives you. The risk of suicide is many times increased. There's an issue about lifestyle problems as type 2 diabetes is a lifestyle problem. Uh, and you need to comply with lifestyle as advised by the doctor. The patient who is depressed or anxious will not do that. Overall, there will be carelessness, they might be smoking. Sexual problems we tend to ignore, would, again, because of the diabetes and depression would be doubled. And again, that of course, serious problems at home and in the life of the person. And then there's always the stigma, the double stigma of having two problems. And again, Society, our society can be very cruel sometimes. 